Hi, I'm John Lundvik, and you're watching ESC Fan TV. Hi, I'm Stuart Wilders for ESC Fan TV. Guess who I've bumped into? It's John Lundvik. Hi, guys. John. Yeah. I want to ask you something. Okay. Hey, how you been? I wonder, do you ever think of me? That's great. <laughs> Great to oh, see you. Great to see you again. You know, we covered Melody Festival and on ESC Fan TV. Yeah. All six weeks. Yeah. Maybe eight weeks, ten and weeks, twelve weeks. You Went still look fresh. I, I, yeah. It yeah. was all Swedish vodkas. <laughs> we got through it. Oh, that's But you amazing. know what? There was a lot of love for you right from the start. Yeah. And you did it. I you did, did it. it by a landslide. It's <sighs> unprecedented in Sweden. I know. It's crazy. How do you feel? I feel so so uh, so honored, and and it was such a ride, and I'm happy being here again, uh, back in London. Uh, haven't really met Michael Rice yet, but I will give him a hug, uh, and because we will meet tonight, and we will sing. Finally, we will sing. You yes. So we've yeah. had a question from one of our viewers, Xiao Chan. Yeah. Uh, she asks, how does it feel to be competing with the song that you've written yeah. for the United Kingdom? It feels cool, because um, I mean. Having two songs in Eurovision, that is huge. And, um, but still, competing against Michael Rice, that is not fun at all. <laughs> is, it, is it true you had both songs for the UK? You, you kind of like, you weren't sure which one to, uh, to put exactly. forward for Sweden. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But we, we took, um, we was thinking about it a lot, but since I was third in Melody Festival in, last year yeah, yeah. with a ballad I know my yeah. turn remember yes. it very well yeah. all in white yes uh, it felt good doing a, doing an up-tempo song this year so I'm happy that I did yeah mm -hmm. and it's a really really good song I mean you're Thank one of the you. favorites to win oh, no pressure no pressure <laughs> <laughs> no but that, that that's the huge things it feels great so I, I remember I sent you a message on Instagram yeah this is months ago and I said John when are you gonna sing for the UK we know you've kind of got UK roots yeah to a certain degree yeah and, and you replied something like um, wait and see yeah <laughs> yeah you were just pulling my leg and exactly. then, then literally a week later yeah the news broke yeah that your song will represent it's crazy the UK well it was one of the three songs yeah to take part in the UK how did that all come about no, we, we, we actually got an email from um, BBC asking, we need a song. Because they had, I think they had an up-tempo up song that was already cut. And uh, they had all these different genres, but they didn't have the ballad. So I just sent the song and, and was hoping for the best. And then we got replied saying like, we're going to go with it. And then of course it's a huge competition, who's going to win, but he did. So talk about Melody Festival Island, just yeah. quickly, because I know you push for time. Yeah. And you, you've got you've to prepare for tonight. We're a couple of hours away yes. for a big show. Yes. Um, what did Melody Festival Island, winning Melody Festival Island mean to you? Because you, you're right, you came third last year. Yeah. Um, some artists come back the year after. Some have a break for a couple of years, and then they come back. Yeah. Um, you came back straight away. I did. And you won by landslide, as I said earlier. Mm. Uh, what did it mean to you to win, your, to win Melody Festival Island and go on to Eurovision to represent your country, Sweden? It's like the, 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 it's a huge receipt of, um, that, I, that I did the right thing. Because I was so nervous being third last year, thinking, hmm, do I dare to compete again? What if I was five, you know? Um, but at the same You'll time... you doing junior Eurovision. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but now, now I'm happy I went for it, and I'm happy that I won. So it's what a ride, what a journey, and uh, now I'm here with you. Yeah. So, yeah. And look, we, we're, going to, we're going to Tel Aviv. Yeah. So we wow. will see you on the orange carpet. I can't wait. It's going to be... What are you orange. wearing? Do you know? Orange. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see me. Okay. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Tel Aviv's a fantastic city. I it cannot is. wait. It I is. cannot wait. And it's this, warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so, yeah, look, best of luck for tonight. Thank you so much. So you mentioned earlier, mm. and, and we asked... Um, we asked Michael last week in Amsterdam whether there may be a possible duet going on tonight. Is there any any you know, any secrets you I, might be able to I let, would love let to, us in? And I think I would just sneak up behind him, being like, "It's bigger than us." <laughs> <laughs> 
This, you're not striking me with the confidence this is actually going to happen. Is, is it possible? I hope it will. Is it possible? Yeah. Ooh, so it sounds like there might be a little bit of secret breaking there. A little no, bit of news breaking. No, I, I don't think we're allowed, to be honest. Yes, but yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, let's oh, do it. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a small venue. Okay. We all, we've all paid to be there. We want to see it. <laughs> oh, wow. It has to happen. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Wonderful to meet John Ludwig. Best of luck in Thank Tel Aviv. You so much. It's, we're so proud to cover Melody Festival in every year. And look, Last year we were great, this year even better. The very best of luck, and thank you so much thank you. for writing a song for the UK, which is one of our best for years. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I've been Stuart Wilders for ESC Fan TV. John Ludwig.